Hello YouTube, today we talk Kingdom Hearts to be Pacific Kingdom Hearts 1.5 slated for a 2013 release date in Japan as a PS3 exclusive. Now, if it's Japan only a PS3 exclusive would make sense, but I highly doubt Square would just release the game in Japan only considering that the game has a huge fan base worldwide. So fans would be the outrage if it's just a Japan only release. Now it needs a worldwide release and it needs to be put on multi-platforms. Xbox 360 as being the other platform. If they could fit it on Wii, water it down, whatever, then fine. We can have it too because everybody needs to experience Kingdom Hearts. Now, it needs to be put on 360 because like, I don't have a PS3. You know, if I had one, it would be no problem. I would still want to know other platforms so other people could experience it. But, see, I'm also being cut out. This, this is a fucking outrage. I'm not even going to hold you up a lot, you know. Look. I have Kingdom Hearts on PS2. Ah, holding this case to the game brings back so much memories. So much. Have Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, the original Game Boy Advance one. Have played and beaten Kingdom Hearts 2, but didn't own that. That's my cousin's game. Pissing me off to this day that I don't own it. Now, another thing I've been cheated out of. I don't have a DS or a PSP, so as you could imagine, I have never played 358 Days Over 2, Birth by Sleep, or Recoded. I don't have a 3DS, so I can't even play the lovely Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. All this is hurting my feelings, but that's another video entirely. Right now, we need to just focus on Kingdom Hearts 1.5 compilation. Now, it needs to be put on multi-platforms, as I have already stated. You know, reason being, everybody needs to experience, not just me being a Rabbit fan, but everybody needs to play it, and Square needs to make money, so it needs to be put on 360 as well. You know, I would love to be able to play Kingdom Hearts 1 in HD, play Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories in HD, as I've never played Rechain of Memories, which is like Chain of Memories on Advance, upgraded for those who don't know, which anybody who watches this video should automatically know. Once again, I digress. And to play 358 Days Over 2, that would be a lovely experience for not only me, but everyone else who's a fan of the Kingdom Hearts franchise to be able to play and earn achievements and or trophies, but fuck trophies, that's another discussion entirely. Now, I know the PS3 fan goes like, they go give me dislikes and star hate, like, man, fuck that, you know, because, you know, that's what fanboys do. They feel that it just should be exclusive to PlayStation. I have news for you, fanboys. Sony does not own the rights to Kingdom Hearts. Sucks, doesn't it? It's not a first-party title. Hey, whine and moan, just like all you motherfuckers who was hating on Final Fantasy 13 coming over to 360. Hey, but I'm not trying to get in that. I'm not trying to start no fanboy wars. But, I, like I say, I believe that the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 compilation should be put on multiple consoles. I, and I know I'm not the only one in this. So, yo, t leave some comments. Tell me how you feel. Feel free to put up a video response. Later. Peace out.